Hey guys, so today is December 15th of 2016. It is now around 3, 17 p.m. So it's the afternoon and I decided to hop on camera really quickly to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about um, why I'm gonna be having surgery. So I did my first vlog basically letting you guys know um, that I'm gonna be vlogging kind of my experience um, until I get all my uh, equipment and all that good stuff. So I decided to come on here to kind of let you guys know why I decided to get vertical sleeve surgery because I feel like it's very important and everyone's decision is very personal. Um, I feel like we all want the same thing ultimately, but for some people, you know, it takes you a minute to realize, you know, what you want, what you need, how you want to go about it. So I'm going to kind of go a little bit in depth until uh, just briefly as to why I decided to get the surgery. So um, I have not been, I haven't been a chubby kid or anything like all my life. I was a average size baby. I was an average size child. Um, when I started to develop, that's when I started to gain weight. So when I went into puberty and the things that happen to a woman when you go into puberty, that's when I started to pick up some weight. Um, I would say by ninth grade, I was about 200 pounds. And I felt terrible about that, of course. Um, but because I really wasn't into weight loss and, you know, I didn't really know how to control my weight i mean i didn't overeat or anything i ate breakfast lunch and dinner um and you know had snacks when i got home from school but i wasn't like one of those people that overate or overindulged um when i had allowances and when i started working i did eat out a little bit more but that was pretty much it um so Fast forward through high school into, let's see, I'm going to say when I got into my first relationship, like my first long-term relationship, you know, you get in that honeymoon phase, you're comfortable, you're going out to eat. Um, we worked in, I worked in nursing at the time, so I worked the evening shift, and so I would sleep all day, get up go get something to eat, go to work, then get something for lunch, or wait till I get off work to eat. So I was eating very late, I wasn't exercising, and I did start to pick up weight. Um, I wasn't really, I was pr probably around 215, 220 when I met um, my ex, at the, my ex who is now my ex now. But anyway, so I remember going to a personal trainer. No, I remember seeing a picture of myself and I just couldn't believe how big I was. And I was just like, oh my God, I'm huge. What the hell did I do to myself kind of situation? And what I ended up doing, honestly, was I signed up for 24 hour fitness, but I didn't stay committed. I did get a personal trainer. I went to two sessions. I just didn't know how to go about it. I would always find fast diets and things like that. I would try those. And one time I was working at a different company and I met a coworker there who was taking a medication called Fentramine. And she was explaining how great it was and what it did for her. She showed me some before and after pictures and I was like, okay. I want this. She gave me the number to the doctor. I went to this doctor, um, got evaluated, all that good stuff, and was assigned the medication along with a booklet that he gave me to for a basically a really low carb diet to follow. And if I took the medication for two days. The first day I took it, I noticed like I was having um, a little bit of heart palpitations, and I was just like, "Is that normal?" Like. I don't know if it's normal or not. So I stopped taking it. And then we were moving and it was just a whole bunch of stuff going on so I didn't continue. Fast forward to 
I think maybe a year later, I did see the doctor again. Um, but I didn't take the medication the first time. I didn't see it through. So what I did since I didn't take the medication was I started cooking meals at home. I stopped drinking a lot of soda and juice, drinking a lot more water and things like that. And I still ate foods that I liked. I just had smaller portions and I was able to lose some weight. And the reason why I know that is because when I went back to that doctor, probably like a year and six months later or something, he weighed me again and he was like, hmm, you've lost weight. Because I think the first time I went to him, I was like around 269, 270. And that was right around the era also when I had joined 24-hour uh, fitness. So he was just kind of like, okay, you've lost some weight. I think I lost 29 pounds or night. I don't know if it was 19 or 29 pounds. It was, or was it 21 pounds? It was a significant amount of weight that I lost on my own, just eating better. Um, and I was proud of myself for doing that. So I went back on the medication. I told him that day when I went there, I was like, hey, I, when I started taking that medication, these were the things that I was experiencing. He explained to me that those um, side effects will subside. I could try to take half a tablet and then work my way up to a whole one. So I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Um, and basically what ended up happening was I started to see results. And he was correct. After two weeks, that medication was just like taking a pill every morning. I didn't take it super early in the morning. I took it around 9, 9.30. And I didn't take it super late because it would keep you up. Um, I lost a lot of weight. Um, I got down to 199 pounds. And it was starting to show. Like, I went back to work at an old job. And everybody was like, oh my God, Adrian, you lost so much weight. You know, which really... It made me feel good, but then it made me feel sad because I was really big then and I didn't realize how big I was. And when I did, you know, it was kind of like I just felt depressed and everything. But it, I was happy to see that I was getting some results. So I got to a point where the medication where he wanted me to go on it and then stop a month and then go back on it. I guess they do that. So I don't know why. So it doesn't... Um, Get maybe um, you don't build up a resistance to it or something because I have read that people don't get the same results um, from the medication. So I stopped going. I had lost, I was down to 199. I felt great and I kept it moving. And once the medication got out of my system, I started to want my old cravings, my old foods back. And it just wasn't good. And within a year to two year span, I gained the weight back. I went back to the doctor in my second relationship um, that I'm currently still in to this day. Um, and this was back in like 2013, I think, or something. And I went to get the medication again. He put me back on it. And he never mentioned weight loss surgery or anything. You know, he just, you know... He checked my vitals, did all that, you know, did all of that and would give me the medication. I would have to see him every 30 days to get a new script. So I would get busy with work and wouldn't go back to get a new script. Finally, I just got tired of that. I was like, I don't want to have to take a medication to lose weight. I want to be, I want to have a tool that's going to be with me like forever. Um... And so I started looking at some videos with Crystal Chanel. She was talking, um, and she's on YouTube, um, how she lost weight. I followed her blog forever. And then I started noticing that she was losing weight. And I was really excited for her, wanted to know what she was doing. And when she finally uh, let us know, you know, when she was ready to share how she was losing weight, that's when my ears started to think, okay, weight loss surgery. But I still, I wasn't at a job that would cover it. You know, I was kind of in between jobs. I, so I was just like, Ugh, I'm not going to be able to do that. So back to the drawing board or back to what I know. Um, 
in 2015, we went to Vegas last year for Christmas. So this time last year, we were preparing to go to Vegas. And it was just a lot going on in my life. Like my relationship was not good. My mind space was not good. I was depressed and I just, I was working so much that I didn't, that I wouldn't let it get to me because I was just always trying to find something to do. I was like, I need something to do. I need something to do. And I would work all the time. And when we went to Vegas, I was not happy. We took a picture together. Um, me and my babe. And I will never forget the feeling that I felt when I saw that picture. And I just said, I've had enough. You know, I was just like, I've had enough. So I started researching. As soon as we got back from Vegas, in January, I made the decision that I was going to have weight loss surgery. I started doing research. I committed to a doctor, started going through the process. So, all in all, I am tired. I have been tired of how I've been feeling. Like, I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to feel like, oh my goodness, you know, I can't, you know, I can't live a healthier life i want to be healthier um heart disease and stuff like that runs in my mom's family cancer and all kinds of things and i feel like if i can change certain things about myself to help my chances then that's what i'm gonna do you know and i don't want to wake up regretting and and still trying to lose weight i know that this surgery isn't a magic pill, an abracadabra, nothing like that. It does take diligence and work. So that's why it's took me a whole entire year to get to this point where I'm ready to do it. And I just didn't jump and do it. Because I could have did it last year when I decided to get the surgery. But instead, I researched doctors. I started, you know, weighing out my options and what, you know, things like that, money, because it's not cheap, just to let you know that. And I felt like, you know, I just wasn't ready. So I think, I thank God that I have found a way to get this surgery. And I thank God that it's finally happening, you know, because. It's just been a long road. It's been such a long road and I'm excited and that's why I'm doing these vlogs. So I decided today just to, like I said, show you guys or let you guys know why I wanted to have surgery. I'm filming this in my kitchen right now. Um, I do have to get back to work here in a minute, but I wanted to come on camera real quick to kind of let you guys know um, and that I did come up with a schedule so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be vlogging twice a week. So that way you, you know, you guys can kind of see what's going on twice a week. And then I can kind of keep up with you guys that way. So starting now, I will vlog twice a week. Um, I'm going to be showing a packing video of what I'm packing for my surgery. I'm going to be going over some information of where I'm getting my surgery, just all that kind of stuff. So just keep, stay patient with me. I'm still learning how to vlog on my camera just for right now. Like I said, I have another setup that is going to be taking place so this can be more professional. I have no idea how to vlog or how to film video. So it's going to be a learning curve for myself. And it's going to be a process that I hope you guys will be patient with me on. So, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Let you know to stay tuned for videos twice a week. And I hope that you all have a wonderful week. And take care. Bye-bye now.